Hello and welcome to this video on identifying the symptoms of kidney disease. Our kidneys are amazing organs that carry out crucial tasks to keep our bodies healthy. Today, we'll talk about the numerous symptoms and indicators that could point to kidney issues. To begin, let's emphasize the crucial role kidneys play in maintaining our well-being. Kidneys filter waste and excess fluids from the blood, regulate electrolyte levels, produce hormones, and help control blood pressure. When these functions are compromised, it can lead to kidney disease and its associated complications. Now, let's go over the typical kidney illness indications and symptoms that you need to be aware of. Fatigue and weakness. Feeling consistently tired and weak, even after getting enough rest, could be an early sign of kidney disease. One of the important hormones produced by the kidneys is erythropoietin, EPO. Erythropoietin is crucial for the production of red blood cells in the bone marrow. Red blood cells are responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to various tissues and organs in the body. As kidney function declines, the production of erythropoietin diminishes. This leads to a decreased production of red blood cells, resulting in anemia. Anemic individuals have reduced oxygen-carrying capacity in their blood, leading to fatigue, weakness, and a general feeling of tiredness. In addition, kidneys also regulate electrolyte balance in the body, including minerals like sodium, potassium, and calcium. When kidney function is compromised, electrolyte imbalances can occur, affecting nerve and muscle function, leading to weakness. Swelling Swelling, medically known as edema, is a noticeable symptom. It often occurs in the hands, feet, ankles, and around the eyes. But why can kidney disease lead to swelling? Let's explore. One of the primary functions of the kidneys is to regulate the balance of fluids in the body. When the kidneys are healthy, they filter out excess fluids and waste products, which are then excreted as urine. However, in kidney disease, the filtering function is compromised, leading to the accumulation of excess fluids and sodium in the body. Sodium attracts water, and excess sodium can lead to water retention in tissues, causing swelling. Also, kidneys play a role in producing a protein called albumin. Albumin helps maintain the balance of fluids between the blood vessels and the surrounding tissues. When the kidneys are sick, the production of albumin can be reduced. Lower levels of albumin in the blood can result in fluid leaking from blood vessels into the surrounding tissues, causing swelling. Changes in urinations Pay attention to changes in your urination patterns. If you experience increased frequency, especially during the night, foamy or bubbly urine, blood in the urine, pain or difficulty during urination, or a sudden urge to urinate, it might indicate kidney problems. In some cases of kidney disease, particularly in the advanced stages or acute kidney injury, the kidneys may produce less urine than usual. This condition is known as oliguria. The decreased urine output can be a result of reduced filtration capacity, which leads to the accumulation of waste products and fluids in the body. Oliguria can result in darker, more concentrated urine. Other types of kidney disease, such as certain forms of chronic kidney disease or diabetic kidney disease, can lead to increased urine output, a condition called polyuria. This is often due to the kidney's impaired ability to concentrate urine and reabsorb water properly. As a result, individuals might need to urinate frequently and produce larger volumes of dilute urine. Proteinuria, or the presence of excessive protein in the urine, is a common complication of kidney disease. When the kidneys are damaged, they may not effectively filter out proteins, leading to their presence in the urine. This can cause urine to appear foamy or bubbly. Kidney disease can also cause damage to the blood vessels within the kidneys, leading to blood leakage into the urine. This condition is known as hematuria. Hematuria can give the urine a pink, red, or brownish color depending on the amount of blood present. Persistent back pain. Kidney-related back pain typically occurs in the area below the rib cage on either side of the spine. It can range from a dull ache to a sharp pain and might be accompanied by kidney infections or stones. Inflammation of the kidneys, often referred to as nephritis, can lead to back pain. Infections, autoimmune disorders, and certain conditions like glomerulonephritis can cause the kidneys to become inflamed. This inflammation can lead to pain in the lower back or sides, where the kidneys are located. Another reason that causes back pain is kidney stones. Kidney stones are solid mineral and salt deposits that form within the kidneys. 
When these stones move through the urinary tract, they can cause blockages, leading to intense pain in the lower back or side of the body. This pain is often referred to as renal colic and can be excruciating. Bad breath and metallic taste. Kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from the blood, including urea and ammonia. In kidney disease, when the filtering function is compromised, these waste products can accumulate in the bloodstream. Urea can be broken down into ammonia by bacteria in the mouth, which can lead to an ammonia-like odor in the breath, commonly referred to as uremic fetor. Advanced kidney disease can lead to a condition called metabolic acidosis, where the body's pH balance becomes disrupted. This can lead to changes in taste perception and a metallic or sour taste in the mouth. Also, kidney disease can lead to fluid imbalances and dehydration. Dehydration can result in dry mouth, which can contribute to bad breath and an altered taste sensation. Skin rash and itching. Skin issues, such as persistent dryness, itching, and rashes, could be indicative of kidney problems. Kidneys play a role in maintaining the balance of minerals and electrolytes in the body, such as calcium and phosphate. In kidney disease, imbalances in these minerals can occur, leading to conditions like hyperphosphatemia. High levels of phosphate in the blood can contribute to skin itching and discomfort. In addition, fluid retention and imbalances in electrolytes due to kidney disease can affect blood flow and circulation. Poor circulation can lead to changes in the skin, making it more susceptible to itching and irritation. It's important to remember that skin rash and itching can have multiple causes, and not all cases are directly linked to kidney disease. If you're experiencing persistent skin rash and itching, especially in combination with other symptoms of kidney disease, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and diagnosis. They can determine the underlying cause of the symptoms and recommend appropriate management strategies to provide relief. High blood pressure. Kidney disease can cause high blood pressure, a condition known as hypertension, through a complex interplay of factors involving the kidneys, hormones, and the cardiovascular system. Kidney disease can compromise the kidney's ability to properly filter and excrete excess sodium and fluids from the body. As a result, sodium and water retention can occur, leading to an increase in blood volume and subsequently, higher blood pressure. It's important to note that kidney disease and hypertension can form a vicious cycle. Kidney disease can lead to high blood pressure, and elevated blood pressure can further damage the kidneys. This reciprocal relationship underscores the importance of managing blood pressure in individuals with kidney disease to prevent further renal damage. If you have kidney disease or suspect you might be at risk, regular checkups and blood pressure monitoring are essential. Managing blood pressure through lifestyle changes, medications, and, if necessary, specific kidney disease treatments can help mitigate the risk of further complications. In summary, recognizing these signs and symptoms of kidney disease is crucial for early detection and timely intervention. If you suspect kidney disease based on these signs, please consult a healthcare professional. They can perform tests to assess kidney function and determine the appropriate course of action. If you found this information valuable, please give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more health tips. Thank you for watching.